Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is February 18th, 2018. Taking a look at our current solar conditions, our solar wind speed is at a 556.6 kilometers per second with a density of 7.6. Our sun is blank as AR2699 is no longer earth facing and is starting a new streak for spotless days. That is now 19 days in 2018 without sunspots. Our KP indices is sitting at a four with a 24 hour max at four. This is due to the solar wind stream from the Earth-facing coronal hole that is now impacting our magnetosphere, but still just under a G1-class geomagnetic storm. And it looks like NASA is going for the gold in Olympic snow. NASA engineers at a South Korean weather station are not watching the skiers take flight, but to monitor a SUV-sized radar that measures the type and quantity of snow falling on the slopes. NASA is teaming up with the Korean Meteorological Administration to work on a project named IcePop. The project will last for from now till March 18th. This research will help scientists measure snow from ground and space to provide better predictions on the forecast. The team of researchers were interested in South Korea because we could improve our understanding of the physics of snow in mountainous areas to help improve accuracy of their observation and models. One engineer says a big snow producer for the Pyeongchang area is a system he calls a backdoor cold front a big dome of cold air that travels over the Sea of Japan, picking up moisture and energy and then hits South Korea on the north's east side. The terrain on the east side of Korea Peninsula changes dramatically from the coastal area to the mountain. With such a steep change in terrain, airflow can rapidly change and spur big snow events near Pyeongchang. And that's what the team is hoping for in order to test how well they can observe and predict snowstorms. And for more Grand Solar Minimum news, here's Mari. Thanks, Jake. A minor earthquake with a 4.4 magnitude has affected parts of Wales and England. The quake was felt over all of Wales, most of western England, as far east as London, and as far north as the southern edge of the Lake District. The epicenter was approximately 20 kilometers north-northeast of Swansea and at a depth of 7.4 kilometers. There had been no reports of serious damage or injuries. The BGS said it was the largest earthquake in mainland Britain for the last 10 years, since one with a magnitude of 5.2 struck in 2008 in Lincolnshire. There were reports that this earthquake was near fracking operations. I did look that info up today. It appears there are a few locations in the exploration stage. However, there is no activity. So we'll keep an eye on this. Thanks for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Please like and share.